Yo guys, welcome back to a PDCGO Rebel Clash video. Today guys, we're going to be taking a look at Weezing Spread, which might have just came back into the format thanks to, of course, Twin Energy, one of the best cards from Rebel Clash. Twin Energy making so many decks actually like work again, and Weezing Spread is one of them. Now, Weezing Spread doesn't have Counter Energy or Tapu Koko or the Tapu Lele Counter Energy combo anymore, so not having that combination is definitely bad. And not to mention, Pokemon have gotten a lot more tankier, but we do have some partners to kind of combat some of those sticky matchups. Um, I am playing this deck with the Ultra Beast. I got Nyla Higo and Buzzwool in here and Buzzmosa. Uh, Buzzmosa can be good. Once you rack up a bunch of damage on a Pokemon through Weezing and Spell Tag, you can finish them off with Beast Game, and sometimes that's enough to win you the game. And of course, the Buzzwool's here for the Lightning matchups and the Dark, possibly, and Nyla Higo for Nightcap, which can copy like Brave Blade and stuff. And I'm also playing the Hoopa in here, which we'll talk about when we get there. So before we get the video, guys, go shout out to our sponsor, Crack and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDCGO pack codes, guys, if you're still looking, get yourself some Rebel Clash codes. Pick them at uh, Card Cavern TCG. You can get your Rebel Clash code singly. You can get them in uh, lots of different bundles. Uh, you can also get the theme deck codes there and the pre-release kits all over at Card Cavern TCG. And of course, guys, if you have any codes or cards laying around you don't want to use, you can give them to Card Cavern TCG. They will give you some cash and in-store credit possibly for your stuff that you submit. So shout out to Card Cavern TCG. If you get anything from there, guys, you can use my discount code CODELDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. It supports the channel. It helps Card Cavern. It helps yourself out. So yeah, shout out to Card Cavern, guys. Check them out and use code LDF at the checkout. So let's take a look at this list. So this is what I've come up with. And Weezing is one of my favorite decks to play. I play this deck a lot and expand it to grind the ladder because it's a pretty fun card to play and it's one of those cards that like just punishes people for filling up their bench now of course detention gas puts one damage counter on each of your opponent's base pokemon in between turns then we have splattering sludge which is 40 for 2 20 damage each of your opponent's match pokemon mew does exist but mew gets knocked out very easily by spell tag and detention gas so mew is not a big issue for us now i have stuck in the ultra beast in here there's a lot of pokemon as you can see there's a lot of basics but a lot of these are just to help you out. I am playing Jirachi and Eldegoss because they're really good cards. And of course, I went all the Ultra Beasts already. I am playing Mimikyu. This is here for matchups where it actually comes in handy. Of course, something like Mewtwo comes to mind. Mewtwo, you know, plays stuff like Big Charm, not really Stealthy Hood anymore. And also, I am playing Mr. Mime with Scoop Up. Now, this card has two different purposes. Uh, one, it prevents your opponent from Scoop Up netting. One of the things that Weezing does so well is it knocks out all those low hp basics on their bench stuff like jirachi zigzagoon even just fion just all these little basic pokemon on their bench is what weezing likes to just eat up and now that school net exists people can just reuse those pokemon and heal but when you get a mr mime down they cannot use scoop up net on those pokemon and then they cannot do anything about weezing so that's why the mr mime is in here it protects you yeah, it protects you from having your opponent being able to scoop up net. Now, there's another thing that Mr. Mime does well. It actually combos with Hoopa. Now, as you can see, I'm playing one Hoopa. Now, this is not the perfect answer to Dragapult because Evil Ammunition will never one-shot Dragapult. Like, they'd have to have an insane... I don't know. You're just never going to knock out a Dragapult in one hit with Hoopa unless you're already... You know, they're already heavily damaged through Weezing and Spell Tag. You can. But that's why Hoopa's good. It's a great attacker. A lot of decks now have Jirachi and Dedenne's and Eldegoss. So sometimes people's bench will be full of abilities. And Hoopa can do like 120 for one energy. You don't need any specific turn to use it like the Ultra Beasts. And when you combine this Mr. Mime, your opponent can't re like can't pick up any of those ability based Pokemon. So they just feed Hoopa's attacks. So that's why the Hoopa is really good in here. I'd almost go up to two. Like it's that good of a card. Um, now I'm playing a Ranguru for Primate Wisdom. If you go research, you kind of want to conserve your energy, so that's why that's there. And going into the Trainers and Supporters, I am playing four Treasures, four Quick Balls, two Great Balls for my Pokemon Search. I got one Ordinary Rod. I am playing two Nets of my own, along with two Switch and one Escape Board. The Nets are here, of course, if you start with like Buzzwool or Nalahigo or Oranguru, you can just pick them back up. And sometimes you don't need them to even be in play, so you can just take them off the board and put something else down. Um, I got two Shrines for my Stadiums. Uh, I got quite a bit of supporters, but in a deck like this, we just play a lot of draw sports. Got three Cynthia, two Marnie, four Research, one Boss's Order. Uh, I would maybe consider going up to two, or maybe even playing one Great Catcher alongside it, just to knock out Dedenne. That's sometimes how you clean the game up, is just by KOing Dedenne, or using uh, a Gust Effect with Beast Game. But we do have that uh, Whimsic uh, Eldegoss option with Boss's Order. I got four Spell Tech, of course. Three Auroras, one Beast. There's not a whole lot of energy. I mean, you might want to go four Aurora, one Beast. Um, and then four twins, of course, to attack with Weezing. But because this deck just does its thing so quickly and efficiently, I found myself getting away pretty easily with just playing the eight energy. Uh, but this is my uh, Weezing spread deck. I like it quite a bit. Uh, its worst matchup is definitely probably ADP is pretty tricky to beat. Obviously, Alter Creation is 
well, you already know what it does. And of course, Aggro, you probably can't beat because there's just too much healing. And Dragapult is 50-50 with the damage we can do. Like, we can use Nightcap against them to copy their attack, which can help us win because that 5 damage can already be kind of you know, built up through Detention Gas and Spell Tag. So, Dragapult is 50-50. Of course, we do have that Hoopa here to help us out. Other than that, though, your matchups aren't bad. And if your opponent has a lot of Pokemon on their bench, like, say, Malamar, say, Bilicephalon, just any deck where their bench is full, this deck just eats them alive. So, let's go try it out and see how it does. All right, guys, let's get into our first match with Weezing here. Seeing what we're up against, we're up against Jerome Rowe with uh, probably going to be a Firebox deck. Or it could be a Bilicephalon. It's going to be one of the two. We're going to let them go first if they're playing Firebox because it's only right. And we'll see what we start with here. Oof. A lone baby buzzle with nothing much else to work with other than a quick ball. We don't play Dedenne in here, so... Not great. I mean, this hand's not like... I don't know. If we can get a Cynthia top deck, that'd be good. Research would be really bad. If we get Research, I might have to get a Ranguru and then conserve a Twin Energy. So they're playing a Fire deck. Again, it's probably going to be Baby Blounds, which I think we can beat... I think we can beat Baby Blicephalon. Uh, it just comes down to whether or not we can actually, you know, get a better hand. Okay, maybe it's not. Maybe it's actually a Firebox deck, um, which is fine. The problem is our hand is bad. What do we draw? Okay, perfect top deck. Uh, we'll ditch a Spell Tech, I think, for a Coughing. We'll put a Twin on the Coughing and we'll just Remarney them. So we'll literally do that. I didn't want to play the Aurora, though. There's nothing to get rid of. And Okay, we do get a Drachi. No Shrine, which I, is unfortunate. I would have liked to get the Shrine down there to get rid of their Heat Factory. Uh, it's going to pass, I guess. We do have Hoopa, which could be good if they do put down a bunch of stuff. I am a little worried that Coughing is going to get KO'd here, though, by Ninetales. I mean, we might not even be able to move Buzzwool, which is also an issue. I would hate that. We do have Hoopa, though. So Hoopa can actually probably hit pretty hard here. So we might actually get some value out of Hoopa as like a late game finisher. They are going to get the Nine Tails, which is a little annoying. We didn't Marnie them though, so as long as we didn't give them like an insanely good hand and they're going to switch. Did they even, I don't even know if they did Stellar Wish there. I feel like they didn't. Okay, they get a Flint. They have a Welder in their hand. They can make a lot of use out of this hand. And uh, they do lose a Switch and a Giant Heart. So they do lose a Counter Stadium, which is really relevant. I like to see that. All right, let's see. If they get a... If they get a really busted play here, and it looks like they might, all they need is like a welder, but they have to go to Dene. They're fueling Hoopa's attack. Hoopa is doing a lot of damage right now. They're gonna go for that. Are they bringing in the coffin? Uh, don't do it, don't do it. Mm, they're doing it. No, don't pick on my stupid coffin. Everything in play has an ability though, so that's good. They actually need to hit a welder if they wanna knock me out, so. If they don't find a welder here, that's good. They also need to get a switching card. So. And they're running out of a lot of energy here. But they do have five abilities in play. They have, which is how much damage? It's 110 damage with Evil Admonition, I think. And unfortunately, they do hit their Welder, which is a little frustrating. So we are going to lose our Coughing here, which I don't like. And we also lose a Twin Energy with it. We also didn't even get the Spell Tag on it. But that's fine. We have Hoopa, we have Buzzwool. Both can hit pretty hard in a couple couple turns for Buzzwool, or one turn for Buzzwool. Yeah, a little annoying that they knocked out my coffee. We just need to get more coffees in play. We should be okay. I think we're just going to play research here. Try to maximize our efficiency. Ah, uh, that had to be... Can we get a quick ball to get a Ranguru? No? Okay, well. I'm not losing that twin energy, so... I am not going to... We got the Cynthia, unfortunately. I, that top deck was just too bad. Um. Okay, we got a bunch of guys. We can hit them here with Hoopa. I think I'm going to do that. Just swing with Hoopa here, get rid of a Jirachi, bench that, and go for Evil Ammunition. So we just hit them nice and hard with Hoopa. They can knock me out with Steaming Stomp, but then we knock them out with either Sledgehammer. We can also just bring in, well, assuming Stellar Wish gives us a research or something, we can go with Jirachi. And we can go, um, we can go Weezing actually instead, try to get damage on everything on their bench. All right, there's an Acro Bike. Get rid of another Acro Bike. They have 14 cards left in their deck, but they have Victini Prism Star. I was thinking about putting Wobbuffet in here. Because Wobbuffet's actually really good right now. But I think... I wanted to keep the Mr. Mime instead, because Mr. Mime, I feel like, is just a better card. They might actually hit me with Victini here, knowing that Heat Rain is going to get knocked out, most likely. Which I'm fine with, because... Oh, they're going to do 9 Temptations. What will they bring in? Another Coughing? 
Another, they can bring in my Jirachi. They bring in a Coughing. I don't agree with that because we're going to take a prize with Hoopa here. I don't really agree with that. Actually, we can knock out their Victini here with the boss's order. And I think I'm actually going to do that. Because this thing is so easy to knock out. We're just going to boss order, bring in this. It's only one prize. We could take in two, but we knock out the Victini, which is pretty good in my books. The Heat Rain's already heavily damaged. Um, oh, that's not a good prize, so it's a little sad. Like, I see why they want the Weezings gone, but it's not doing much for them. We aren't going to get our Sledgehammer turn now, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Actually, one thing we could do is possibly knock out... If we ever get the chance, we could knock that out with Buzzmosa, maybe, and take a couple prizes. Is there, sorry, that could be a thing. Now, this does need to be a turn, though, where we need to get a Weezing off. If we don't get an attack off here, it's going to be pretty awkward for us. Like, we really desperately need to get an attack off with Weezing here. There's the Weezing. So now we just need a supporter. Will we find one? We do get a research. There's a switch, but we're going to take the research. We need twin energy. So we need to get twin energy and a switching card here and another coughing, uh, which we might have almost gotten, assuming this great ball can find us something, which it does. It gets us coughing. We could also, I guess we could have taken the Buzzmosa there too, but no. We go Weezing. We are going to get a knockout here, and we can Splattering Sludge and get some damage on board. We also removed a lot of energy off their board, so knocking out the Victini was a really good play for me. And let's see if my party can make a comeback here. Knocking out the uh, Victini means they have literally, like, four, five energy left at most, and that's not good for them. Plus, they've used Fiery Flint, so they might not have anything. Especially, I don't think they're even really using Ninetales. I guess they can go Spreading Flames, but... It's not going to do much. We can actually win by Nagano, this, and Jirachi. So that's our wing addition, I think. It's knocking out those two. Victini's not even KOing me here. Oh, it is. Oh, wait. How? I guess my math was off. All right. Where are we putting this damage? Let's just put... Put all on Jirachi. The Denny's can be knocked out pretty easily by a gust. If we can get an Eldegoss here, we can actually knock it out with Buzzwool and take our two prizes. Then we just have to knock out Jirachi to win the game. Okay. So let's go Treasure here, get rid of the Mimikyu. We'll get ourselves... We could actually go Nihiligo here. That's not going to do anything for us, though. I think we'll still get it. Maybe, actually, no, we should have gotten Mew. That's fine. All right, we need to hit a supporter here. We do get one. I mean, at the cost of losing a couple energy, though. But that's fine. I don't even think we can lose at this point. How much energy is that? Okay, we still have an Aurora, which is good, as long as we still have that. There's the twin energy we were looking for. Might as well bench this in case they play Scoop Up Net. We'll see what we can do here. The Dedenne should go down, yeah. So... They knock me out, we win. They can do nine tails, but you gotta remember, they're down 15 energy, so I don't even know if they can scroundle up two energy here unless I get a fire crystal. But that's not gonna stop me. They need a counter stadium, knock something out with nine tails to get around wheezing in order to survive here. So it's not looking very good for them. Okay, they get a Cramorant. That's fine, it's not gonna do much. They have 30 HP left. We also could win with just like a, a hit from Buzzwool. Buzzmosa here. But I don't think my opponent can win at this point. They have to heal their Dedenne or something. That's the only way. But I can't. So let's see if they have any way to use Ninetales. Because they really need to just gust me here in order to prevent the spell tag. They do have... They had two more energy in their hand. That is now... That's 17. So they're completely out of energy now. I would say. They're bringing the Buzzwool. We are down two nets. But we still have our switches. I don't really think this does much for my opponent. They're still kind of on the clock, too, because the shrine's in play. All right, what do we get? Buzzmosa. All right, let's go quick ball. How are we looking in terms of stuff being in our deck? We have two switches and two energy, so we're just going to go for the research. We're just going to go for it. There's the switch. There's the energy, but not the one we needed. That's... Oh, wait, what am I saying? We have the twin on the Weezing. I totally forgot they didn't even knock this out. 
Okay, whatever. We win the game, beating a Firebox deck. A matchup that I think is winnable due to the fact that their bench is usually full of Pokemon. Um, and that Hoopa there, just pretty much doing its job, made its rounds, and not bad. I've been playing against a lot of Firebox, but uh, we beat one, and that feels pretty good. All right, guys, let's get into another game with the deck here, playing against Lucas with what looks to be a possible Malamar deck, or actually a Dragapult deck, which... Honestly, I don't think Dragapult is a good matchup for us. I don't know. We have Hoopa in the deck, but I don't know if Hoopa is going to really do all that much, considering it can't really one-shot that well. We do get a Coffee Mr. Mime. The Mr. Mime is good because we can protect them from Scoop of Netting themselves, but the problem is with Mr. Mime is we can't... It'll just get knocked out by Dragapult. But they are, it looks like they are playing a Malamar deck, so we'll see if this is going to be a Malamar Dragapult deck or if it's just a pure Malamar deck. I'd probably rather pure Malamar... I mean, they do have Dark in their deck, which could just be Absol. So this could just be a Mew 3 Malamar deck, which is a good matchup for us, because we have the Mimikyu, we have a lot of spread. No, it is definitely a Dragapult deck. They can't play Scoop Up Net, though. This guy will get knocked out, but then we can try to get him back with Ornate Rod. Uh, we drew Buzzmosa. We'll get rid of that to get Jirachi. Switch into the Jirachi here. See what Great Ball gives us. A Ranguru. Do we want a Ranguru? I guess we'll bench it. Uh, we'll Stellar Wish. Can we get a Supporter? We do get the Research. Nice. I don't even think we really need to save the Shrine. So I don't think we actually need it. So we're just going to get rid of the Shrine here. And what are we looking at here? A bunch of Spell Tags, that's for sure. Let's see. What do we get? Another... Oh my gosh. This is a great hand, guys. Great, great hand. So much going on. So the mime is nice because it does force that they it does force more abilities in play because they can't scoop net that so maybe going for the Hoopa play might not be too bad after all. But I don't think Hoopa can one shot Dragapult V Max. It could definitely one shot the Dragapult V. We only have one boss's order, so I don't know. We do at least have like Nilehigo to maybe copy Max Phantom. Okay, this is definitely a Dragapult deck. Oh, it's a Dragapult deck, but it's Dragapult baby Dragapult. Okay. The I'll bite. We still have to deal with their spread, but we actually have Scoop Up Net of our own, so we can actually Scoop Up Net our own Mr. Mime, actually, which is pretty good. Uh, really, this matchup will come down to how many Pokemon they bench, because that's the only way we can really get around that Dragapult's ability. Alright, well, we Stellar Wish, pray for a Weezing, because I really want to go Weezing here so I can get some spread off quickly. Okay, so let's go Stellar Wish. We do find Weezing... Uh, what are we getting rid of, though? I guess, like, a spell tag? Just, we have too many in our... We have too many in our hand. Yo, we prized three Weezings? Yo, that is ridiculous. That's a... Oh, my gosh. That's actually nuts. Uh, I don't even think I want to do research here, to be honest. Even better. We can Marnie. We can save our hand. Okay. Cool beans. Just gonna go for the splattering sludge just hit this for knockout we aren't gonna get any damage on those dragapults but that's fine there's our wheezing we had prized <laughs> three wheezing's prize that's that is rough that is really really rough but let's see if my opponent gets the dragapult now the good thing is they are down two rare candies the bad thing is they might have rosa i don't know the fact they're down two candies tells me they don't have it i mean i guess they should have brought in zigzagoon if they don't have it so maybe they do have the rare candy dragapult which would be kind of scary, because they can one-shot Weezing here. Okay, they get an Oracorio, so I guess they don't have it. The Oracorio is a great Pokemon on the bench. Okay, Marnie, that's fine. That's perfect, because that, that's like an easy target for Hoopa. Speak of the devil, there's the Hoopa. I think I'm actually trying to attack with Hoopa here. There's an Evo Incense. Did they get the Rare Candy? They probably have one in the deck. They found the Rare Candy Dragapult off of that Marnie. That's pretty nuts. Considering they're down two rare candies. That's a little, little nuts to say the least. Oh, they haven't done it into tribute. I thought they did. Never mind. Okay, well, again, they only have two candies. So there's a good chance they don't find the rare candy. If they don't find the rare candy here, this is really good. Uh, they can just hit me for possibly like 40 damage, which doesn't make a difference because we already get knocked out and one hit by them. They don't have it. What does this do? So check for a Dreepy, put on your bench. They can bite me for 80. Oh, spell tag? Ooh. That lets them knock me out, I think. Yeah, it literally lets it lets them knock me out. Because they're doing 80 damage to me. So 
I don't know. I guess we take the knockout? I mean, we kind of have to, obviously. Ooh, they bench a ditto. I don't think we can KO that just yet. No, we can. Yeah, we can, we can take two prizes here because I benched the ditto. We are going to get knocked out, so that's a little unfortunate. Uh, that's fine, though. We're still taking two prizes, which is good. So, we'll bench the Hoopa. We'll put the Cynthia on top. We'll just Marnie them. Treasure. We'll get rid of the Buzzwool because I don't think we really need it in this matchup. Just take that second Weezing. Yeah, so we'll hit him with a Marnie here. See what this gives us. Twin energy number two. That's good. And we're going to get knocked out, but we are... Oh no, this isn't weak to Psychic. That's right. Never mind. Whatever. We're, we're still going to knock it on this guy. So we actually live here, which is a little better. And that Oracorio, it's going to take damage. And we can knock it out down the road with like Hoopa or something. Which is nice. But it just got really dark in my room. Holy cow. Anyways, there's... Okay, we gave him the Dragapult off the Marnie. That's fine. They will get a knockout. They could actually have a boss order here, which could get them two knockouts on two Weezings if they want. Uh, which is actually pretty bad. And they still have Dance of Tribute. But they are down one boss's order. I don't know if they play Eldegoss. I don't think I saw Grass in the deck preview. So, we'll see what happens. If they do get a double knockout here on two Weezings, that could be really detrimental. We, we'll have to just try to knock them out of Evil Ammunition. But nope, they don't have it. Alright, let's see where they put this dirty damage. Either going to be on Hoopa or Mr. Mime. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. They put it on Jirachi. Alright, we're just going to bring in the Weezing. We do have Spell Tag, so we can knock out... We'll put one here. One here. And we can knock out the Dreepy. Oh, I didn't mean to put two on it. I, I tried to retract the damage. Whatever. We could have done more of that Spell Tag damage. I guess... I don't know where, honestly, I would have put it, though. Ooh, Boss's Order. That's huge. That's a really good card to get off our prizes. Especially because we win here if we can find an energy. Right? That's game. Right? Wait, are we knocking this out? Are we, hold on. We're doing... Yeah, we're doing 50, so we're doing 100. So we are knocking that out. And just like that, we're going to go here. Here. Boom. 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 Alright. Whoops. Didn't mean to hit my mic there, but... It seems that Hoopa is the MVP of this video because it has been used twice. So not bad. I was glad that wasn't actually a Dragapult VMAX deck because I feel like that is one of your worst matchups. Just even with like a Hoopa, like the Hoopa is not like going to win you the game because it, it barely can one shot. But still, that was a close game. All right, guys, let's get into another match with our deck here. We're up against Mark the Gunner with what looks to be an ADP deck. So a matchup like this is not ideal but it's ADP. We'll see what we can muster up, though. The first two games were pretty good, so... We'll see if we can beat ADP. It's gonna be an interesting match for sure. How do we look here? Jirachi start, not bad. Double coughing. Pretty good hand. As long as we can get a supporter here, this hand's actually not too bad. So let's go put Jirachi. We do have the Ultra Beasts, but they're hard to use with ADP. That's the only problem. We'll see, though, what happens. Okay, they get their own Jirachi start. We do, of course... Nalahigo might be the best attacker. I don't think we need the Buzzmosa too much. I guess one way we could win maybe is use Buzzmosa and knock out ADP if it's like heavily damaged. Uh, if they play anything like Malolana though, that could be very hard to deal with. Malolana would be very tricky to put up with because they just Malolana heal their ADP possibly or Zacian, which would be pretty scary. Zacian having that resistance to Grasso might help us. We'll see. This is going to be an interesting match for sure. I don't know if we're going to be able to win it, but we'll put up as much of a fight as we can. Oh wait, they're not playing ADP. They are playing Pika. Or they are playing ADP. Wait, what? Okay, this is an ADP deck. Okay. Um, what do we draw? ADP Coco, maybe? I guess. Alright, let's quick ball. We'll get rid of the Buzzwool for like a Ranguru. Seems pretty good. Just get that guy down. And Stellar Wish. There's a Marnie. We will take it. We'll probably have to stay in the active here, so we're just gonna kind of just hold the hand. There's a twin energy for our coughing. Put that down and we'll primate wisdom here. Get a research, not bad. Do we want to bench the ditto? 
I guess. And we'll just pass. We do have Nyla Higo we can put down too. Or we can save it with Primate Wisdom, which we'll probably do. And then we can put down Weezy next turn. We should be able to attack and get some damage on that ADP. They will get the Alter Creation off though, which is super bad. Unless, unless they don't get a switch here, which they don't get anything off of Stellar Wish. But there's no way they don't have the switch in their hand. They definitely have it. We might need the Mr. Mime too if they play Scoob Up Net. We probably shouldn't have benched the Ditto looking at it. Maybe we shouldn't have bothered mentioning the Ditto. There's a dead A, yep. Uh, I don't know why they did Stellar Wish first though, if they were going to thin that whole time. Because again, they probably want to get that switch. And if they don't get a switching card here, that'll be pretty good. Maybe. We could I, we could try to foul over the ADP too, maybe. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. I think we just want to go Weezing here. This matchup, it's just any ADP matchup is just hard. Yeah, it's definitely a Coco ADP deck. Could be something else though. Could be Bolt on ADP, I don't know. Yep, they got the switch rip. So they got the Elder Creation off. Now we're on the clock. You know the drill. Now we got to deal with this thing. Blah, blah, yada, yada, yada. Um... Spench this. I'm just going to go for the research. See, we get our own switching card. We do not. Oof. We can get a triple wheezing in play, though. Quick ball. Take Hoop out of the deck. All right. Hopefully, we don't whiff a switching card here. We do not. Nice. Could have taken the net actually. Nah, we'll just we'll go for this. And we got a net. Well, there we go. We would have gone the switch card regardless. Um, guessing if any plays a tool scrap, we'll save the uh, thing. We're only getting forty damage on him. We didn't get the shrine either, which kind of sucks. But we'll see how we do here. I mean, our ring edition is just knock this out, knock this out, knock this out. I don't know if that's possible, but we can try to make it work. Maybe. Maybe. I get just like, I don't know. The fact that we're only doing like, what, 50 a turn to ADP, it's just not. Yeah, it's just not enough to win a matchup like this. That's like the only problem with this ADP. We do have Nyla Higo, though. This is our only saving grace, is potentially Nyla Higo could be how we knock this out. So, where do you want to put this 40 damage? I think we, we can put. No, we can put it all on ADP and then try to set up for that ultimate Ray knockout. Seems fine to me. But they just boss his order and now he go, we lose. I don't know. I don't think it's possible to do enough damage to knock all this out in one in one game, but we'll see what we can muster up. What do we draw? Hoopa. Oh yeah, what am I saying? What am I drawing? I know I'm drawing Hoopa. I'm actually gonna put that down. So it's a stellar wish. No, we didn't get a supporter. Research. Nope. So we just lost. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Well, I don't want to say it just yet, but it ain't looking good is basically what I'm trying to get at. Well, I guess, no, we can do Eldegoss. Yeah, I guess we got to go Eldegoss. But then it's such an easy target. It's fine. Could Marty them, actually. I don't want them, the, what I'm scared of is, if they knock out Nyla Higo, we're in trouble. So we got a Marnie here. We're not, it, the problem with the Marnie though is there's a very good chance we don't find Twin Energy. Uh, but we could go Marnie here to prevent them from having a boss sword or knock out Nyla Higo. Or we just flat out do research. I think I just do the research and just say they don't have Marnie. It's ballsy, but we're going to go for it. It's ballsy. We'll see, though. All right, we got the twin. We didn't get the boss's order, though, which is kind of what I was hoping for. Let's put that on there just in case he targets it. And we will spell... Or spell it. We'll splattering sludge. Maybe, no, maybe we shouldn't have put all that damage on it. I don't know. Because uh, we should maybe put more on there. I don't know. Like, the fact is, he can just steamroll me with a single ADP. There's not much we can do about that. There's just not much we can do about it. Yeah, I mean, he could boss sort of knock out Eldegoss too, and then we just don't have Nyla Higo at all. And then it's literally impossible to win, because we can't knock this out next turn, so... I don't know. 
I feel like ADP Zacian could be winnable with the Nyla Higo, but no. Okay, the ultimate Raimi, so this is fine. Uh, it's not fine. So yeah, we lost. We lost. We should have put more spell tag damage on the Dedene. If we had a shrine in play, the shrine ticks could knock out Dedene. But we do lose here. It's like impossible to win. This is <laughs> what ADP, ADP. We can ultimate ray knock them out. That's the best we can do. Is unfortunately just take four prizes here. Uh, I don't know. We maybe pulled off the best of our abilities in the matchup like this. There's not much else I can do, right? I could, I could go like. Maybe I could have put more damage on them. If we had the Shrine Ticks, and we could, maybe we could have knocked them out this game. But unfortunately, we probably just can get... I think we just... Yeah, there's no way we can win this <laughs> ADP. Like, I don't know. I don't know how Pokemon allowed this uh, monstrosity to exist. But here we are. Oh, we actually didn't have the... Oh, well, no, we did. 150. Never mind. I was like, wait, we didn't actually have the Ultimate Ray knockout, but for some reason I was thinking Ultimate Ray is doing 130 or 180 damage, but it wasn't, but I think I'm going to wrap today's video on the Weezing deck here, guys. I mean, ADP is probably your only dodgy matchup other than like Eggrow, of course, and maybe Dragapult. Just again, ADP, it's ADP. Your single prize decks do not stand a chance. I'm sorry. I don't know. Pokemon do something about that. I don't want to get too mad, but ADP is ADP. Uh, but that'll wrap the video, guys, on the Weezing deck. Uh, it's not a bad deck. It's fun to play. I've always been a fan of playing Weezing because it's fun to just spread damage, knock stuff out. It's a satisfying deck to play. Um, and other than maybe your sketchy ADP matchup, it, Weezing doesn't seem like a bad deck. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, drop a like on the video, subscribe down below. If you're new to the channel, home, we're reaching 9,000 or 8,300 subscribers. And as always, guys, make sure to check out our sponsor, Car Cabin TCG, down below too. Use CarlDeaf if you have any codes at Car Cabin. Follow me on Twitter down below to stay up to date with all my tweets, and I'll see you guys later.